After having lunch with 17 United States Cardinals at the Apostolic Nunciature, the Pope greeted representatives from various Catholic charities before traveling to the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception for Vespers and a meeting with the bishops of the United States. The private prayer service and meeting with the 350 bishops was held in the crypt of the shrine. At the heart of his speech, he addressed the bishop, saying, How can he lead his people to an encounter with the living God, the source of the life-transforming hope of which the gospel speaks? Perhaps he needs to begin by clearing away some of the barriers to such an encounter. While it is true that this count is marked by a genuinely religious spirit, the subtle influence of secularism can never so scholars away people allow their face to influence their behavior. Is it consistent to press our beliefs in church on Sunday and send during the week to promote business practices or medical procedures contrary to these beliefs? It is consistent for practicing Catholics to ignore or exploit the poor and the marginalized, to promote sexual behavior contrary to Catholic moral teaching, or to adopt positions <coughs> that contradict the right to life of every human being from conception to natural death. Any tendency to treat religion as a private matter must be resisted. Only when their faith permits every aspect of their lives do Christians become truly open to the transforming power of the gospel. For an affluent society, a further obstacle to an encounter with the living God lies in the subtle influence of materialism, which can all too easily focus their attention on the hundredfold which God promises now in this time at the expense of the eternal life which he promises in the age to come. People today need to be reminded of the ultimate purpose of their lives, the need to recognize that implanted within them is a deep thirst for God, the need to be given opportunities to drink from the wealth of his infinite love. It is easy to be entranced by the almost unlimited possibilities that science and technology place before us. It is easy to make the mystic of thinking we can obtain by our own efforts the fulfillment of our deepest needs. But this is an illusion. Without God, who alone bestows upon us what we be ourselves cannot attain, our lives are ultimately empty. He later traveled back to the Apostolic Nunciature to prepare for Thursday's events, which include Mass at Nationals Park, an address to the presidents of over 200 American Catholic universities, and a meeting with representatives from various religions.